Okay, so let's talk a little bit about tension because I know a lot of people have problems with it. Uh, if you want to get, this is for Amaguri. Amaguri? I don't know. I'm making a doll. But if you uh, want tension and you need to keep it even like this, this is very tight stitch. I'm using, uh, this is just a regular four weight yarn. And I'm using a very tiny hook. And the way that I keep my tension good is I put my yarn right here and you see how it's um, it's pretty loose. You know, the yarn will just pull out pretty easily. If it's tight, if it's a new skein, I'll pull out a bunch of yarn as I'm working. And I wanna keep my yarn, since I'm right-handed, I keep my yarn on the left side so it pulls out pretty easily. And then I hold my yarn like this. And a lot of people hold their yarn differently. Some people will wrap it around you know, a bunch of fingers, um, but I've been crocheting for 30 years and I can remember trying to figure out how to hold it. And I found this is the easiest way, but you do not have to hold it like super tight, you know, like, like this is like really, really tight. You could just, you just, you just want to make it not loose. And so what I do is um, you go in and see now it's tight. See how it's loose? Here, let me get this behind so you can see how it's loose back there. So it's, I hold it tight. Let me make sure the light is good. So I hold it tight when I go like this. It's not real tight, just a little. And then now I loosen it, okay? So I'm just, I kind of hold it a little tight right there. It's just barely, and then I loosen. And then right here, you wanna, I give this, this one a tug because you don't want the top to be too tight or you'll have issues getting it in when you go to your next round. Okay, so do it again. So put it through, tighten up a bit, pull it through loose, tight up a bit, pull it through, and then I give it just a little tug with this one just to make the loop a little bit bigger. So tight loose, tight, loosen. So you're not constantly putting, you know, pushing your fingers together and keeping it tight. It's just when you uh, put the needle around the yarn. So tight, loose, tight, loose, and then pull a little bit. Okay, and that'll give you these really nice even stitches. Okay, so let's say you're doing a granny square or a hexagon cardigan, and you're doing a, a double crochet, and those stitches are a bit looser than than these single crochet stitches. Um, see, this skein is a little tight. No, it's loose enough. So for this, it's pretty much the same, but it's actually a lot easier. Uh, first, I'm gonna slip stitch to the corner Okay, so I am tight, and it's barely tight. Like, I'm just barely holding this. Okay, slip stitch to the corner, chain three, and I'm, I'm just barely holding it. This one I hold a lot tighter when I make it tight because I want these stitches tight. This one I'm just holding it just barely so this is straight, and that's it. I'm not tugging it really hard. You see how that's hard? I'm not, you know, just, you don't have to worry about it that much. You just want it to be, go from lax to straight, and that's it. So see, straight, now go over. Oh, I forgot what it's doing. Oh, I'm going, <laughs> and then go under, and then see, I'm just, I'm barely holding it. I am holding it just enough, just so it's straight, and it easily flows through my fingers. See? And it's pretty much that just the whole time. So basically all you have to do is you just hold your fingers this and barely have the yarn in there. You're just kind of keeping the yarn still, but you see how the yarn will, will pull through, see? That's, this is how, this is how tight I am. It's not tight at all, okay? And uh, it's pretty easy. This one is a lot easier, I think, to keep the, the tension good on when you're doing a double crochet. 
but I'm just barely holding it. I'm not doing like the, um, I'm not paying attention. I'm not doing the, you know, thing where I keep it real tight, mouse, o you know, mouse over, yarn over. I'm just barely holding it. I'm just holding it until it's straight and that's it. So the yarn easily goes through the fingers. Oh, look at that, I did four. Okay, whatever, this is just for, sh you know, to show you. <laughs> I'm gonna undo it anyway. So just, just barely, you're just barely holding it. And this will give you, um, you can see some of my work I did with these on my Etsy or, or Instagram or whatever, whatever you're watching this on. You can uh, go look at some of my work and see how the stitches are, are pretty even and uh, it's pretty easy for the double crochet. For doing rows, this is, uh, I'm gonna show you an example of this. This is a, um, a fingerless glove and it is made with half double crochets uh, going through back loop only. So if you want to get like nice even stitches like this, here I started just a, a little sample row with half double crochets and I'll show you how I do the tension with these. And same thing with the yarn, it's on the left side. Make sure it's loose or pulls them out if it's too tight. Okay, and then you're gonna do it just like the double crochet. You know, you're just, you're, you're holding this enough just so it's straight, not pulling, just so it's straight. Okay, so we're gonna do back loop only. And see, it's just, it's just barely straight. And I will pretty much just hold it like this the whole time. It's a pretty loose, loose stitch. And the key to getting good tension when, um, to make your, your crochet look, you know, pretty uniform is just to do the same thing all the time. Okay, so as long as you, as long as you, whatever you're doing to keep your tension, you do it for all of your stitches. Everything will be super even. See, it's just flowing right through my fingers. Okay, so that is how, that is how I do it. Some people use, oops, I got to cut a little thing right there. Some people use rings. Um, I've never used a ring. I'm sure that they're probably pretty cool, but I, I don't have any issues because just I'm used to, you know, I'm just used to doing this. Um, but you want to try what works best for you. And as long as you keep doing the same thing for every stitch, then your stitches are going to end up, you know, looking really uniformed. And, um, you know, if you want them tighter, they'll look like this. So it's just practice, practice, and it'll happen soon enough, but it's definitely not an overnight thing where, you know, it'll just happen. You just have to, you just have to keep crocheting and your stitches will become uniform as time goes on. And this is just the easiest way that I found. It's just, it's just holding it just enough so it's tight. And that's all you have to do. So if you would like to see uh, see me crocheting any other stitch to give you an example of how the tension would work on that, just let me know in the comments and I'll uh, make a video of it for you. So just let me know what else you'd like to see. Thanks.